Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies. It's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with, uh, I think this is episode number 10 of Going Medieval. Um, we're playing on the Upper Wyvern Seed. Going Medieval is a community management survival building game from Foxy Voxel. And uh, Upper Wyvern is a fictional community from uh, David McCauley's 1980s children's architecture book, Castle. Um, also a community in the associated PBS animated TV series. And probably going to do episodes 10 and 11 today. Uh, we left off in early winter. Mark is injured. He took damage from something. I have not yet ascertained what that is. Um, if you saw what it is, uh, let me know down in the comments. I think he might have been hurt trying to tame the pigs. That's sort of my, my operating theory. And uh, we were we were in the process of uh, you know it's morning so no one's working on it right now. Oh, I guess it's noon. He's he's working now. Um, we were in the process of completing our chapel, um, which is uh, going to be uh, really sort of our second major indoor space, um, second permanent major indoor space after the uh, root cellar. It's a critical broken nose. Critical. Aesthetic value minus <laughs> uh. Poor guy. Okay, is Hank going to do the building? Who's doing the building? No, uh, I don't know. I don't know who's supposed to be in the building. Andrew, I guess, is the builder? Yeah. And he's working on... I think he's put in the interior... He put in the interior walls separating these uh, little antechambers here. I probably should widen this right one to match. All right, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I can replace these stairs now. It was more aesthetic than anything else, but... Okay, he is mining those out. That's good. Don't think they've got floor above them, so I need to... Yeah, I need, need to add a... Yeah, that's... Maybe they do. I should, you know, to be honest, just assign these folks as well to, uh, haul in as much of the iron as possible so that we can get those doors finished. So I mentioned in a previous video, I've been uh, b busy working on some IRL stuff, um, and you know I'm not I'm not prepared to talk fully about that, but I got a new job that's uh, that's exciting. Um, I uh, think I mentioned it in another another video, but um, it's less. Uh, what's she doing? Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, good goodbye, Mr. Plow. Hello, groundskeeper Willie. That's all I'll say. The reality is my uh, my my content creation is probably going to become a little bit more regular, a little bit more focused as my uh, as my schedule sort of coalesces. Um, it's hard hard to hard to foresee exactly what that's going to look like. I think I'm you know, pretty tired in my evenings, but we've got a merchant here. It doesn't seem to give you the alert anymore when merchants arrive. I don't know why that is, but okay, boy. 
cooking, definitely cooking. It's the next. Need to get a proper permanent kitchen going. I'm going to send Catherine to talk to the merchant, even though it's the middle of the night. Okay, so she's got some barley, got some beet seeds, apple saplings. We're definitely going to want those. Cabbage seeds. Always need cabbage seeds. Always need carrot seeds. You know, this is just a good, a good little top up here. She's got a dog for sale. Um, I don't really want a dog, to be honest. I think we've got enough going on. Now, I've got a dog. Do I have a second dog? Do I have two dogs? Are we going to breed dogs? Is this a thing I can do now? Hmm, maybe not. Okay. Is that a male dog? If it's a male dog, I'll buy it. I don't see him anymore. Dog. Male dog. 115. Okay. So we need to get 200 and... Hmm, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, to be honest. 200 and... I guess I could just sell 200 bricks, right? Barely makes a dent. All right, yeah. Merchant can't carry this much weight. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Well, that... It's still too heavy. Okay, bricks may not be the commodity you want to sell. Uh, you need movable wealth. That's interesting. I haven't... You know what? Um, I don't need the dog. The dog is just going to eat into my... could sell a sheep, but... Dog's a little bit expensive. <sighs> yeah, if I get gold bars, I can buy things in future. And I'm not seeing too much I can sell anyway, even to cover the 150. I guess I could sell some fine caps. Those aren't. Okay, we're going to sell a goat and a sheep. No, maybe I'll just sell a goat and now can I sell some bricks? Yeah. Whoa, that's way too many. Okay. Good, Mark's almost fully recovered. I need them to, to roof this. I want that indoor space finished. Let's get Hank and I'm constructing as well. Take him off mining. And I guess I need a... So we, we brought in some iron, right? Yeah, we did bring in some iron. So I need my smith, whomever that is. Mark. Yeah. Get you smithing. I need to start the stairwell. Such the situation. It's just a whole project here. I don't know exactly what that's going to look like, but I think we'll go from there. Yeah. I guess it needs to be one more 
level, doesn't it? Damn. I hope this doesn't ruin it. Bet it's gonna ruin it. No, it didn't. Alright. Okay, good, and he's making the uh, making the iron necessary to finish all the doors. This is probably gonna be the library in this on this side here. The chapel, library, floor above it will be kitchen, great hall, and floor above that will be dwelling. Probably won't be enough dwellings for everybody, and we're gonna realistically, I'm gonna have to put rooms, bedrooms, and the towers as well. But it's fine. I kind of foresaw the need for that. How's the roof going? Not there yet. Okay, we are going to need to dig down there, you know, and actually that can stay as is and we'll dig down there. Yeah, that's good. And then we've got a passage. Perfect. We got a passage there. Yeah. This is, uh, actually I might put the passage here. This is, this is pretty ideal. I've really been looking forward to continuing this build. I'm, I'm quite happy with how it's turning out. Everybody's doing okay. Just double check we've all got winter clothes on. Yeah, in case it gets freezing cold out of the blue. I'm really surprised they're not finishing this uh, th this construction faster. Okay, I need to deconstruct these weapon racks now, don't I? Before they uh, before they decay on me. Are all my racks down here full? Yeah. These ones aren't built yet. Okay, I'll wait for the morning. I don't need a second research table right now. <laughs> 
Okay, good. He's picking up the weapons. As soon as that's done, things are going to change rapidly here. <laughs> Game knew that. It's like, wow, well, he failed. Oh, God. Marcus injured again. Severe concussion, broken nose. Now all he's been doing is crafting metal, eh? Hmm. Okay, now I gotta watch their. Their health. I really need them to finish this interior. I need to put that there. So far, nobody's dying. They're all pretty well dressed for the winter. Like I, I'm not, I'm not too worried. But I do have benches that aren't ideally placed. Like you know, they're praying in the freezing cold right now. Yeah, someone just passed out. It's minus forty-two. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. How cold is it underground for them? 4.3 degrees in the warm room. Yeah. Kitchen's minus six. Where the cats are sleeping. Cat cat population starting to get out of hand too. And my food reserves are beginning to dwindle. Bunch of them are injured now. Of course, he works on the like high end research bench first rather than prioritizing creating indoor space. Come on. You should finish those damn stairs, dude.
Okay, his health is getting low. This will finish the indoor space downstairs anyway. Here we go, spare room, okay. Now, I gotta, I gotta fuck that up right away though. Tank and yeah, his health is recovering. Good. How are we doing on animal feed here? Lots of hay. I still haven't moved the actual uh, prayer benches either. You know, I should probably... Oh, damn, I can't. Whatever. We ran out of stone? Yeah, we're almost out of stone. Good. Wait on that. Great. Food preserving would be very good and just start making packaged meals. They never go bad. Brewing would be great for morale. Ice making would allow me to preserve my food year round. Okay, let's do ice making first. It's the cheapest.
Who's that? Head? Yes, sir. Okay. Moderate hypothermia, yeah. Boy, it would be great if they could, uh... If the, uh... The cold snap would end. It would be great if the cold snap would end. God damn, man. Why didn't they? Haul any of these to stockpile? Do bones decompose? Yeah, they do, but very slowly. <laughs> okay, cold snaps over. I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did in the chapel. On this side. I'll probably do it in the, in the basement floor too. So I can transfer the uh, the structural support. Chapel's almost done. Okay. Make sure they delete that. Yep, that's good. Let's prioritize summers. Got enough cloth. Okay, so this room should be done now. Did it get recognized as a chapel? Am I missing something? Let me see. Uh, it's under rooms detected. Yeah, yeah, look, it's uh, 
purple room, which is Church of Restitution Chapel. That's great. And they're going to finish the library too. That'll do for now. And the next step is definitely the, uh, wooden weaponry. Fletching. Yeah, we're good. Should probably pause this for the moment. So I've only got one researcher. Throw this down in the basement area here. What's the temperature like in this chapel now? It's warm, 15 degrees inside? That's great. Good, and they're put into the bookshelves, which means they can start to demolish the uh, the underground bookshelves now. Uh, so there they are. I mean, I don't I don't need to remove. Oh, I need to turn that off. The, there we go. I don't need to demolish them, but I might as well consolidate all the books and. One place. Need to keep this room warm too.
interesting architectural uh, feature um, that I read about, which is often incorporated, well, not often, which is known to be incorporated in uh, castle design, is a chapel will often have a small uh, porthole in a, a wall uh, called a hagioscope, um, which allows like a high official to participate in church services without being present in the room. So it would be, it would be interesting if you had like a bedroom adjoining a chapel um, and there was a, you know, a, a window that gave the bedroom owner, because you can now assign beds, a bedroom owner, a uh, happiness boost from you know, having that access to religious services without having to participate. I think it was a security feature. Um, I'm not, maybe a, to preserve piety or something or, you know, I'm not, I'm not quite sure on the, uh, entire psychology behind it but very interesting nonetheless yeah this is great very happy with this library are we out of stone yet yeah yeah we're close so I'm going to switch over the crafters to construction the rest of the year. I'm just gonna try to get as much of this building and researching done as we can. Uh, who's my other researcher? Let's get Catherine on research as well. Might as well actually have Hank and mine those remaining things. Now that everybody's building. It's a good chapel too. That's great. Just gonna finish the roof on that, can't I? It's already roofed too. As soon as that's finished, library! Look at that! Immediately speeds them up. It's a library, good production speed, one hundred twenty percent. I could probably make it a, like a, a very fine library or something. I don't, I don't know if there's a better category than good. Somebody finish the yeah. Okay, so the Bowyer's bench is done. Losing books somewhere. What's going on? Why did something just break? Okay. They're moving books around, I get it. You know what? I want all the books in the library. 
Okay, so fletching is done now, which means uh, I can make until you have, uh, let's go for 10. And who is my carpenter? That is Nissa, I think, is the highest skilled carpenter. Yeah. That works out. Wait. Wrong character. Yeah, that works out great. Okay, it's winter day 10, so we gotta we gotta start thinking about the spring planting soon. We've got lots of food now. This is gonna be a real uh real interesting season. Might as well lay this all out now. What happens to the central hall? Interesting. I didn't even think about that. So that becomes its own enclosed stairwell. That doesn't have to be. Yeah, that's fine. You can put an arch there. Should look nice. Oops. Okay, and then we're putting stairwells. There as well, I think.
Make sure all these books get stored. I don't want anything to decay on me. Okay, I guess I can move the back game and table now, can I? And drop it in the hall for now. That doesn't need to exist anymore. Neither does that. I'm trying to think of the dimensions of a great hall here. Probably gonna put a kitchen in this corner, a brewery in this corner. Need to make sure the stairs go up another level. Yeah, I'm gonna have to transfer all the all the pillars in the base. Whatever, that's that's a project for another another time. So I need to do it in a way that doesn't cause the structural collapse, especially as I mine these lower stone bits out. Okay, it's uh, winter day eleven and starting to get warm. Might as well just sow the whole field with barley for now. Mm, I'll sow that with flax again, yeah, because we're still gonna need lots of cloth. Where did all this limestone come from? Okay, I don't need reinforced doors up here, I just need regular doors.
Hmm. This room's not really big enough for a kitchen. What are the actual requirements for a kitchen? Stove, butcher, oh yeah, I can, I can put one there. Where did I see that? I didn't... Oh, I didn't make ice. <laughs> Damn. Where are the decorations again? I'm just not seeing them on this. Oh, is it... Yeah, okay. Some pottery shelves. Really? Guess we need uh, stone arches, yeah. Yeah, do it like that. Put two fermenting stations. I guess if I put, what is it, tool shelves on the wall? Doesn't really make sense, but. Winter Day 12, yeah. Oh, Joanna, okay. Slightly a Joanna K. I'm I'm already nope, nope, you can't come in. Nope. Uh if you if you know any about Canadian journalism, yeah. <laughs> uh you know who I'm talking about. Um Smith, rustic armor. Okay, okay, we're gonna need someone to make some weapons, and so like this is yes, but rustic, she's a uh an oak brother. Who's she being chased by? The Ravagers, yeah. I'm just gonna be yeah, this this is this is easy. This is this is like easy mode. This is not hard mode. This is easy mode. 
I'm really frustrated um, with the difficulty. I may, I may have to, there's, there's difficulty sliders now, so I may have to go turn that up. Okay. We need more beds. Timing on that's not ideal. This is, it's, we're heading into planting season, not uh, bedroom building season. But theoretically, I can just drop another, another bed here. I need to turn these room types off. Um, what am I looking for? Looking for this room. Couple weapon racks with nothing but bows. That's great. Okay. Uh, what do I have for honey? Should have a lot, right? If I haven't been using it for anything, no honey. Okay, somehow we have no honey. I guess we've been eating the honey. Um, barley and herbs we've got, but... It's going to burn through my barley crop. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wides. That sucks. Put my great hall in here, I guess. That sucks. Wanted it to be bigger. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to wait. That's going to wait for a little bit. Just get a roof on these kitchen areas. Okay, I guess I should manage Joanna into uh, eating only meals and wearing caps. What are her combat skills anyway? She is a terrible marks person. Terrible melee fighter. She's just a terrible fighter in general, but she's great at mining and she's great at smithing. Okay. Let's double check her perks. 
she's infirm, she's a hedonist, she's a drama queen, and she's winsome, so she's good looking. All right, how old is she? She's 48, all right. Okay, spring has arrived. Okay, Great Hall is going to go in there regardless of the width. It'll look good in the end. Okay. We start planting immediately. This will look great in the end. I really would like to actually make it uh, taller. I should double check because we're in mountains, so how high up I can actually build. It's probably pretty high, but highest point reached. Yeah, so that's, oh boy. Damn, damn, I wish I'd double check that first. This, uh, this castle's... <laughs> oh, going medieval, you have disappointed me. I should I didn't even I didn't even try off the highest point. Off the highest point you can you can build one layer up. That's it. Okay. Um this is gonna be really funny. So we're gonna have to dig down to make this an impressive structure. We're gonna have to dig down. There's gonna be lots of mining that happens. That's cute. The Great Hall will, in fact, only be one one layer tall, with no bedroom above it. Interesting. I guess. I guess there's a lesson in there. I don't know what it is. Check first, I guess. I'm used to I'm used to building on planes. Yeah, so like if I built down here, we. Uh, it's really funny. I can't even put a crenellation on top of that, can I? That's sort of the the the, the limit. No crenellation. Okay, so we get a crenellate on top of this. Interesting. Well, again, I'm glad I figured that out now. And...
course this of course this is going to get uh well, this was this this in the end was temporary that's probably gonna be like the courtyard level Well, now I know I can delete that. Oh, I knew that was coming too. All right, refuse to bow. Okay. Let's get everybody back inside. And we're gonna manage Okay, he is Archer. These are these are special things that I set up um, on another playthrough, but Hmm. Let's just have them all equip ranged weapons actually. Just just go for volume of fire even if they're terrible with the small bows and Probably pretty low on armor, I reckon much of it's decayed. Switch everybody over to helmets. Oh, that's really funny. That's really funny. The highest point has been reached. It's okay, it'll look good. We're just gonna have to do a bunch of mining. Is that everybody? That's everybody. They are not doing the things they need to do now. Hankins going to auto-equip.
The enemy is just chewing through my doors. All right. Say fuck it, good enough. Why isn't it C drafted? Oh, because he doesn't have a weapon. Mark and Oscar. Are either of them marksmen? Yeah, Mark. Yeah, okay. Hankin is already fucking injured. Oh, that's just good. This would have gone a lot worse if I hadn't built those bows. Yeah. We win. Hank can manage to get injured. He's got a pierced cheek. Remember to heal that before he gets killed by it. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Okay. And we will manage them back to no weapon... I don't think the crossbows have a skill level either. That's the real advantage of the crossbows. Everyone will use them. So we're going to make a bunch of those next. Uh, get them all back in their caps. Yeah, so I'm going I'm to have to do some uh, some architectural planning to um, solve this little tiny issue um, with the height of the building. It's a tiny issue in the grand scheme of things. Um, might as well start switching them over to their summers. So nobody dies of heat stroke and take off all their armor. Hopefully they do the hauling. Um, I guess we want Kevin to have armor. But yeah, that's about it for me for now. This is Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval. Um, I'll get back to it uh, in a little bit here. Going to go take a short break. Um, if you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you don't like watching me play these games, you think I'm making terrible, terrible decisions, let me know down in the comments. I know I made a terrible decision uh, in, in, this, uh, in this series so far um, with respect to the height of the building. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And uh, as always, keep it peaceful out there.